the Speed Demon Challenge. I'm going to put up a $50 prize pool, and that money will go to the person that completes this challenge in the quickest time. Did you guys know that Apex Legends Mobile has some special mastery missions? If you head on over to Game Mode, you can click on Mastery Missions, and every single week, you will find two different challenges to put your skills to the test. Now, this week, there's a special challenge called Wing It. All you've got is an R99 SMG, and the only mission is to take out as many targets as you can in a specified time. It's a pretty cool challenge, but this video is not about that. We're going to take a look at Against All Odds. Now, this challenge is basically a speedrun challenge, and the only thing you have to do is reach the end location and destroy all the targets along the way. The target that respawn is set is 40 seconds to reach the end point and destroy all the targets. After completing this, you can get some special rewards, but you know what? That's not enough. Now check the link in the description and the comments. You're going to find my Twitter. All you need to do is screenshot your fastest time by completing this and drop your quickest time screenshot in that post in the comments. This challenge runs for the next five days where it will change into a different challenge. So that's all you've got to do to complete it. Five days to get the quickest time possible doing against all odds. Now let me show you exactly what you have to do. Now the first rule is the legend. You can be any legend you like, but you're not allowed to use any abilities whatsoever. That's rule number one. Rule number two is it has to be played in first person, no third person allowed. Okay, let me talk you through what you've got to do. So as soon as the timer releases, these two targets you have to shoot, you continue along the course and another two targets will appear. You have to destroy these two targets. Now once you're done in this first zone, you have to go through this gap here and you have to kill two enemies. Both of them have to be killed. A caustic will appear on your right. You have to kill the caustic as well. And then there's one more target round here at the car and that's level two completed. Now getting on to level three. You'll move along here. You have to shoot this target right here, this target, and this target right here. You'll move along and you'll find another two enemies. You kill both of these enemies. You can use the Mastiff and the Flatline, any gun you like, and that is level three completed. Now, moving on, you can get your guns reloaded, do whatever you want to do it in the fastest time, and you'll move all the way along here. You'll find another two enemies, a Gibraltar, which you'll kill right here, and a Bloodhound on the stairs. You'll keep rotating up the stairs, Put the gun away, do whatever you want, go through the doors, and the end zone will be right here. That is all you have to do. You have to complete that course exactly how I've explained it, and you have to kill every enemy that I've gone through as well. So let me do a quick run through and show you exactly what it looks like. And there we have it. We've done it in 42.71. It's a really fun challenge to do, and I'm really glad that Respawn are adding in, you know, different things to the mobile version than they've got in the PC and console version. It excites me for the future of this game. If you guys think you have what it takes to get the fastest score in the world, then link in the description. You know what to do. Again, the person that does it in the fastest time will receive a $50 cash prize, and you've only got five more days to do it, so get a move on. You can also get some really cool rewards just for completing these as well, and it looks like the challenges come once per week, and they get rotated around. Last week, we had a wingman challenge, Challenge, and this week we've got the R99 challenge. My only feedback of these challenges, Respawn, if you could add a time leaderboard, that would be great. So we can actually see who the fastest in the world is on an in-game leaderboard. That would be awesome. That's the end of this video anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see your scores. See you in the next one.